Shadow Defence Minister Richard Miles, thank you for that. Let's go live now to Liberal MP Tim Wilson. First of all, your reaction to this uh, debate we're having at the moment in the wake of the Burke Street uh, attack and, uh, and I guess one of the interventions from a Labor MP, Anne Ali, a counter-terror expert herself, an academic, but, uh, but her uh, analysis of this has been criticised by some, particularly the comparison between the rate of and the scourge of domestic violence vis-à-vis -vis the, uh, the terrorism incidents in this country. Well, this is one of these occasions where Dr Ali is vanishing up her own self of self, academic self-importance. I mean, it's a ridiculous comparison to make when we have terrorism across Australia and we have it including in Burke Street last week, to then try and draw comparisons with it to domestic violence, which is a very serious issue, which then requires a completely different social and cultural approach around the importance of treating women with respect. To compare that to the events of last Friday is ridiculous. 41 terrorists have been made in Victoria to Wilson since 2005, 37 of which have been linked uh, to Islamic, extreme Islamic ideology. Does Victoria have a problem here? What we have is a problem across the state on a number of levels. We have uh, a government that is a state government that's far too uh, relaxed on crime and sets a tone which is too, far too permissible on crime as far as I'm concerned. Mm. We do obviously have a problem where we have communities that uh, uh, are creating problems. We have Islamist extremism, uh, as we saw on Friday, uh, where uh, it's going undetected or it's uh, certainly operating within some parts of the community. And what we have to do as a, gov as a state government and a federal government is shine a very bright light on where this occurs and take appropriate uh, responses. And I know the, the uh, Home Affairs Minister has been out there today talking about uh, the prospect of deporting extremists who aren't citizens, so, and Wilson, I fully support that. Some of your colleagues have been very cl critical of the Andrews government's lax attitude when it comes to general law and order. Are you today yeah. translating that criticism also to what happened on Friday and recent history in Victoria? Uh, they're, they're different issues, but what we do have is a culture within the state government, within the Andrews government, that is far too permissive uh, of crime overall, and that's being reflected at every stage uh, of society. But then we have extreme incidents like that that occurred on Friday, Islamic extremism and terrorism. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a deep concern of all Victorians, I think, when you see uh, these things being played out. You see the human consequences uh, that are being played out where people are losing their lives and the message that we have to send as Victorians is we won't tolerate this type of behaviour. When you see a homeless man with, uh, merely armed with a shopping trolley who stands up and shows fortitude and strength mm. against Islamic extremism, mm. that shows you that Victorians won't accept it and it's important to make sure that governments send that message. They won't accept it too. Let's talk about the, uh, the news poll. I want to get your thoughts on this 55-45. We've got the, the summer months ahead and... I tell you what, it, it looks, it's not impossible, but it, it doesn't look far from it. Uh, well, polls come and go, and uh, I know that's the average and, and predictable response. If you look in the Courier-Mail, there's a different poll about how Queenslanders uh, have their sentiments towards the Prime Minister and the government, which is more encouraging. In the end, it comes down to whether this government is focusing on the bread and butter issues that affect people on a daily basis. And that's where our focus is, and that's where our focus will remain. But and if you just look... And, and, and the classic example is the events of last Friday. What people want is to feel safe, and they expect their government to take appropriate action to make sure that we keep Australians safe, and that's what we're doing. But, Tim Wilson, two significant things happened last week, and that was that Malcolm Turnbull went on Q&A and Scott Morrison went on a, a blitz of Queensland. Which do you blame for this news poll drop? I don't blame anything. Uh, the reality is that we have uh, politicians always doing things and we have former Prime Ministers at the moment doing things. What actually matters is the tone of the discussion across the whole time frame. Uh, it's not about individual incidents. OK, Tim Wilson, Liberal MP, we'll catch you in a couple of weeks from now. Quick break, back.